A few days ago, my assistant Shelby, who if you've ever emailed us, you've probably talked to, came to me and said that there was a message on Instagram I really needed to see. So I went over to our Instagram and looked at the message and it was from a guy named Matthew. Matthew went on in his message to say, Stephen, throughout watching your videos on YouTube and numerous other channels, I consider myself now a master. And I think I know everything there is to know about spotting key levels of support and resistance, about trend. He even went on to say that he could accurately, with about a 70% accuracy, predict where the market was likely to go based on those factors. But then Matthew went on to say, but I have absolutely no idea how to actually enter a trade. He said that in these areas, he's been guessing as to when to enter the trade. He said he would go long at support just because it was in support and it would cause him to lose money. He said he would go short because the market was in a downtrend and it would cause emotional issues and he would just get out of the trade early just to watch the trade go exactly how he initially expected it to. And he went on to ask me, Stephen, what do I do? So what I did is gave Matthew an accurate candlestick entry. This is an entry that you can use if you're a beginner, intermediate, or even an advanced trader. This is an entry I developed a few years ago and I still use to this day to make accurate trading decisions. And I actually just got a message from Matthew that said, with this new candlestick entry, his trades have dramatically changed for the better. So that inspired me to make this video. And in this video, what I wanna do is teach you that accurate candlestick entry. And the way I'm gonna do that is first by showing you a couple of live trades I took using this entry and using a full strategy I'm gonna be teaching you at the end of the video. Second, I'm gonna go through and show you the exact rules behind this candlestick entry so that you can spot it for yourself in your own trading. And third, I'm gonna go through a full strategy and teach it to you so that it can kickstart your full strategy and it can kickstart your full trading plan. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below the video to the right hand side and the notification bell. Do me a favor, click the like button so that we can get this video out to as many traders as possible. It'll help out with that YouTube algorithm. And I will see you directly after the intro and disclaimer to share a couple of live trades and to teach you one of my favorite candlestick entries. See you soon. Welcome back traders, Steven here, your honest trading coach. And let's go ahead and get started with these live trades. Starting off on the Canada Yen five minute chart. Let's take a look at that trade right now. What's up guys, here we have a nice entry based on what I'm about to teach you later in the video. We're really expecting this market to head higher. We just crossed above the 50 EMA. We want this market to get to this next level of structure. So we're gonna go ahead and click the buy button here in just a second. Let's go ahead and click buy. And there we go. So what I'll do is go ahead and let this trade play out. Whatever, whether it wins or loses is irrelevant. I want to teach you the strategy itself and not show you just wins. So if this trade loses, we'll still be talking about it. But I'll let you guys know how it plays out in just a second. All right, traders. So we're right here at our profit. I'm going to go ahead and take profit on this trade. I moved the profit target down just a little bit lower from our zone. But since we got a better entry than we expected than the close of this candle, we still ended up with about a 1.5 to 1 risk reward on this trade. So I'm going to go ahead and close the position. So as you can see, that trade on the Canada Yen worked out really nicely. Here's another look at it right after we took profits. And throughout the video, I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of other live trades we took using this full strategy you're going to learn at the end of the video based on this candlestick entry pattern that I'm about to teach you. What I want to do first is teach you the actual candlestick entry pattern that I used though. So let's go ahead and dive into that right now. So what is this candlestick entry pattern I used to make that trade you just saw on the Canada Yen? It is extremely simple. I'm trying to find a really good example of it here. It is an extremely simple entry pattern. As I said, it's easy to use for beginners, intermediate, or advanced traders, and the rules for it go a little something like this. First off, I call this the CAH pattern. There's a CAH and a CBL. The CAH is the bullish version of this pattern, and all it stands for is a close above high. So what I wanna see for this specific candlestick pattern is something you can see right here. We have a market that was pushing up. We're now pulling back to an area of value. What area of value am I talking about? The blue line is the 50 EMA. That's an area of value. Right at the 50 EMA, we get the candlestick pattern that I'm talking about, the CAH. And let's talk about that and discuss it for a second. The CAH, simply put, stands for a close above the high of the previous candle. So here you can see our previous green candle. 
It's the one with the blue line at the high of that candle. The high of this wick is the high of the candle, right? What I need to see for an accurate and valid CAH pattern is a close above that high directly after it. So I need to see that high created. I need that next candle to be higher, the close of it to be higher than the high of the previous candle. That is a close above high candle or a CAH candle. And I know it sounds extremely simple, but you would be very surprised at how accurate these patterns work when traded correctly with the other factors involved like trend, structure, indicators, whatever it is that you add into it. We're gonna be combining all of those a little bit later on in the video. I'm gonna show you one more example of the CAH. And as you can tell, let's look at this pullback before we go through one more example. And as you can see in this pullback, we get no close above candles, right? This close isn't higher than the high of the previous candle. We don't have a close above high candle here. We don't have a close above high here. When the momentum kicks in after a pullback, after a little bit of relief at an area of value, almost every time that momentum kicks in, what you're gonna see is a close above high candle. If it's to the bullish direction, you're gonna see the bulls take over to the point that they close the candle above the high of the previous candle. That's showing you that there's some really good bullish momentum in this specific chart on the specific trade. So let's take another look at another example right here. We have another situation. We get this cross of the 50 EMA pointing us towards a possible reversal in this market. We were heading down. We've now crossed back above the 50 EMA. We get our pullback. Does this candle, although it's green, showing a little bit of bullish pressure, but it doesn't close above the previous high, right? So with that being the case, what we want to see is a bullish candle that closes above the high of the previous candle. And that's what we call a CAH candle or a close above high candle. I think you probably have it by now. So what we'll do is switch the role and we'll look at bearish entries, the CBL or close below low candlesticks. We'll take a look at a couple of examples of those. Then we'll take a look at another live trade and go right into teaching you the full strategy that I've developed based on this candlestick entry. So let's take a look at bearish right now. Okay, so moving on to the bearish version of this pattern called the CBL or close below low. Firstly, you're a very intelligent trader, so I'm sure you already know this, but we're not going to be trading these just by themselves. Randomly on a five minute chart, if you see a close above high candle, you're not just going to press the buy button. It has to be in areas of value using using a combination of technical factors, not just using these candlesticks themselves. So for an example of that, let's say that you're trading and you, you look at this chart and you go, okay, where's the next point? This market could stop and possibly reverse. You zoom your chart out, you see that, oh, okay, cool. We have this really major level of resistance. How do you know it's major? Look how much it pushed the market down just from this level around 1.399. If that's the case, then once we get back up to this level, pretty high likelihood that we're going to see another drop. And this is what Matthew, the trader from the beginning of the video who messaged me on Instagram was a master of. He knew how to spot important levels of structure, but he didn't have the perfect entry to use or a simple entry that he could use. But let's see what happens to the market when it gets here. All right, we're at that level of resistance now, right? So I'm expecting a possible fall. But like Matthew said at the beginning of the video, I don't want to be just placing random sell trades because the market's at resistance. So instead, what we want to do is wait for that candle. Did you see what just happened? So if CAH stands for close above high, what do you think CBL stands for? We've already said it, close below low. What does that look like? Well, we've already hit our level of resistance. We call that an area of value, right? So what we want to see then is a candle that closes below the low of the previous candle. Do we get that right here? That's showing us that bearish momentum is stepping into this market in a big way. So if that's the case, what are we expecting next? We're probably expecting a pretty nice drop out of this market considering we're at resistance and we just got a close below low candle. And there we can see a pretty nice drop. And as we continue down, just to give you another example of the close below candle, the second example here, and to let you know that the previous candle color does not matter. The previous candle can be green for a close below candle, can be red for a close below low candle or on a bullish candle, it can be red or green as well. The color of the previous candle does not matter. But here we push down to a low, we push back up to a swing high. We then get a close below the low of that previous candle. So that's an example of our close below candle. And what I want to do now that you understand these two 
the close below low and the close above high candles. It show you one more live trade that I took on the pound yen five minute chart as well. It worked out nicely. And then I'm gonna show you a losing trade I had on the pound dollar. But before I show you that trade, what we're gonna do is take a look at the full strategy behind those three trades. So let's go ahead and take a look now at our live trade on the pound yen and I'll be right back. What's up traders here? We're looking at the pound yen based on the strategy we're talking about in this video where the market is crossing above our 50 EMA, pulling back putting in a close above candle in that first pullback. We have that working out perfectly here. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this order with a 0.5% risk just because of margin and how much it takes when you have this small of a stop loss. So let's go ahead and place this trade. And now we are all set. I'll keep you guys updated as this trade plays out and let you know what we end up, either, either we end up making money or losing money. Either way, I'll let you know and talk to you more about the analysis that went into this trade. I'll talk to you in just a second. So as you can see now, taking a look at that pound yen trade, that worked out rather nicely. We ended up having a nice take profit hit on this trade as we pushed up higher, eventually hitting our targets. But let's talk about the reason for entry here. What we had was a nice push up possible reversal by breaking through that 50 EMA, a pullback. And what do you see right here? This is that close above high or CAH candle that we've been talking about throughout the video. So with this candle, what we can see Sorry about that. What we can see is we have our move higher. We have a pullback. Here's the high of the previous candle. We do in fact have a close above that high. So now that we just took a look at that live trade, what I wanna do is break this trade down and teach you the exact strategy behind each of these trades you've seen throughout the video. Now, I can't break it down into a lot of detail in this video because as usual, I have bitten off more than I can chew in this specific video. They always try to keep them under 15 minutes and they almost never land at under 15 minutes. So I'm gonna try my best to do that by going through this strategy rather quickly. If you want a full, really detailed breakdown of the strategy, do me a favor, leave me a comment and let me know. Also click that like button. If this video gets 2000 likes, then I'll upload a complete version, very detailed of this strategy. But the simplistic version, now that you know the entries, goes something like this. We're waiting on the break of the 50 EMA. It's gonna be a reversal strategy. We wanna see the break of that EMA, whether it be to the up or to the downside in the case of our pound yen trade, it's to the upside. Once we get a break of that 50 EMA, we wanna see the first pullback. The first pull, the pullback itself, rules are, it needs to be at least two red candles for a bullish version of this strategy. So we wanna see a pullback of at least two red candles, and then we wanna see our close above candle. That's exactly what the strategy that went into this trade and the Canada yen trade. All right, so now that we've taken a look at a bullish example here on our pound yen trade from that live trade, let's go ahead and switch the script and take a look at a bearish example of this full strategy. So let's take a look at that now. Okay, so here, see if you can spot a bearish version of the strategy that I just taught you. So what we'd be looking at here on the pound yen yet again is the cross of the 50 EMA telling us that we have a possible reversal. The cross to the downside, since we're looking at a bearish version of this strategy, we wanna see a pullback of at least a couple of candles. We get that. And then we wanna see a close below candle or a close below low, CBL, close below the low of the previous candle. If I zoom the chart in, you can see that that happens right here. So we have all the rules met. We have the cross of the 50. We have a pullback of at least two candles. We have a close below the previous candle slow. That to me is everything I need for this specific strategy. Set your stops and targets accordingly. Again, if you wanna see a full detailed breakdown of this, including stops and targets, leave me a comment and click that like button. We'll see if we can't get that recorded for you next week. So stops accordingly, I like 1.4 to 1.5 risk rewards on most of my trades, and that is hit quite easily in this case. So just so you know, after taking a look at these two trades, after taking a look at a couple of winning live trades, no strategy is perfect. I'm actually gonna show you now an entry on the pound dollar, and I'm not gonna show you the live entry. Trust me, I entered it. It's a losing trade, I'd have no reason to lie to you. I entered this trade at the same time that I entered the other two, and unfortunately, it was a losing trade based on the same exact thing, right? We have a push above, we have a pullback, we have this nice close above candle. This push above was my reversal indication push above the 50. My more than two candle pullbacks right here, my close above candles right here. Unfortunately, the market came down, stopped me out, and then kept going. But during that day, I did win two out of three trades, so not a terrible day of trading. But that's a look at a losing example, just so you have a clear understanding that no strategy 
that you learn from anyone will ever be 100% correct, including this one. Now, don't take this information and go trade it blindly. Take this, test it, add it to the other technical factors that you know, make sure it provides an edge of the market for you, and then decide whether or not you want to add all of this to your trading plan. If you are struggling currently, even after this extremely valuable video, and you would like to have personal mentorship from yours truly, feel free to click the link in the description labeled EAP Training Program. In that program, we provide you with a full training course going over the strategies I use on a day-to-day -day basis, a full course on discipline and risk management, getting your mindset right, and along with all of that, you also receive three to five email alerts each week on trades I'm placing based on the strategies you're learning in the course. You also have what's called priority email, meaning any questions you have about your trading or about the course in general, you can feel free to reach out to me personally and I'll personally get back to you with an answer to those questions. I've struggled in my trading before, I know how hard it can be and I'm here to help. If you have any issues and you're ready to take your trading to the next level by having a mentor, then I would love for you to be a part of the program. If not, that's totally fine too. Go ahead and make sure you're subscribed though because we do come out with valuable content here on YouTube every single week. Make sure you click that like button. Again, if we get 2,000 likes on this video, I'll produce a full detailed breakdown of the strategy I just showed you. I hope you have a great trading week next week because it's Friday right now. I hope you have an incredible weekend and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Talk soon.